guys, welcome back to my channel. So I put e.l.f. and ColourPop head to head with each other because they have the same similar price range and a similar matte finish. I needed a new affordable concealer and I wanted to make sure I made the right choice. So if you want to know my top pick between the two concealers, then keep on watching. this redness um, it's not what you think it is I was getting irritated by the sweater that I used today and I was scratching it um, but yeah I love that it's finally sweater weather I mean I've worn three sweaters in a row already and so I actually missed the fall weather like I'm so over with this heat you know this one's from JC Penny by the way it's so soft I am so amazed at the quality of this sweater and it was pretty affordable too so I've been testing these two concealers the elf and the color pop concealers for about three weeks now and I've been testing it with a whole bunch of primers, different kinds of foundation, CC creams, BB creams, just to kind of see how well they play with all the other products on my face. So let's get started. The e.l.f. Camo Concealer, 16 hour wear concealer is um, $6 and the ColourPop No Filter Concealer is $6.50. Let's start with the e.l.f. concealer. The claims are that it's a full coverage 16 hour wear concealer and that it has a matte finish. You can use it to correct and contour the face. And I have the color medium beige. It has a doe foot applicator which really reminds me of um, the Tarte concealer that everybody loves. The Tarte Shape Tape. Um, I like the applicator. I don't mind it. It is a little bit light for me considering that it's medium beige, but it does kind of oxidize after a while. So it does get deeper. So you need to take that into account when you choose your color. The claims are that it is a 16 hour wear concealer. It's full coverage long wear concealer and it dries down to a full matte finish. I've never used it to contour. I've used it to hide my blemishes and I do have some thoughts about that in a sec. The ColourPop No Filter Concealer reminds me of my Urban Decay Concealer which is my all-time favorite concealer. They have the same type of applicator which is nice. I have the color medium dark. As you can see, it's a little bit darker than e.l.f. The claims for the Color Pop Concealer is that it's a full coverage concealer with a natural matte finish. Also has those soft blur pigments that kind of blurs and perfects the skin. The e.l.f. and the Color Pop Concealer both have dimethicone in them, so they kind of fill in the pores a little bit and just kind of smooth out the face a little bit more. Which one is the better concealer, which is really the point of this video. The e.l.f. and the ColourPop concealer both apply really creamy under the eyes, on the face. They feel really good. They're not thick or heavy when I first apply them, but I feel like because the ColourPop has a natural matte finish and not a full-on matte finish. The ColourPop is a tad bit creamier and it's a lot closer to the consistency of the Urban Decay Concealer that I like. My experience with the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer is that it's not gonna last 16 hours. I have the type of face and skin that eats up makeup. If brands come up with makeup, they need to test it on my skin and see how long it can last because that is the true test. If it can withstand that, then definitely it's gonna be a good long lasting product. What I found using the e.l.f. is that it dries down matte. I mean, there is no doubt to that. You don't have to work as fast. You know, there are some concealers where, you know, the moment you apply it, you have to start blending it or else it's going to just leave that demarcation on your face. And that's not the case for e.l.f., but it is pretty matte almost powdery matte in my opinion and a little bit 
no a lot drying under the eyes even for someone like me who has oily skin when i apply it under my eyes i start noticing it creasing a bit more than usual and the moment i apply powder it just becomes way too much i tried it with at least three different types of powders the laura mercier powder that i had the um maybelline fit me powder and also the Ciate London translucent powder that I own and all three of them just all look really heavy under the eyes So I didn't like that about the elf concealer. It's just too matte and at first I thought okay And maybe it's not for the eyes, but it's gonna be great for the face overall like my t-zone where most of my pores are and imperfections are and where I want the makeup to last the most and unfortunately it did not do that it broke apart in many places on my face especially the t-zone it would cling onto my dry patches if you want to use this concealer you have to make sure that you just exfoliated your face otherwise it's gonna really cling onto those dry skin and it just did not look good it will work better if your face is well hydrated and um, maybe use a very hydrating primer because I noticed that when I do use, you know, kind of a hydrating primer like this coconut primer from Fab Beauty right here, it looks a lot better, but it's still not my favorite. On the other hand, ColourPop Concealer is a lot creamier, not as drying as the e.l.f. concealer, um, but still really dries down to a matte finish. It, definitely for me, I notice it's more of a demi matte concealer. Although definitely this lasts much longer uh, than the e.l.f. concealer. But it does the same things. It breaks apart, especially in my porous areas around the nose, the center of my nose, and also my chin. So it just doesn't last as long and it just starts looking very, very patchy. ColourPop actually also is known to oxidize a lot. So you want to really compensate for that when you are choosing the color of your concealer. I've never really swatched and let the product dry on my hands before and this e.l.f. is kind of doing all sorts of weird things i don't know if you can see that it's just there's some weird discolorations right there um the color pop did get a lot darker i believe and so yeah so there is some oxidation happening over there the color pop clings to my dry patches but not as much it lasts a little bit longer than the l i've tried using them to cover up my blemishes and they just didn't do a good job at covering up the blemishes they kind of start crusting up around the blemish if that makes sense um they would break apart in weird ways and it would just make that area where the blemish is a lot worse looking than it normally is it just sits on top of the skin guys this review sounds so negative at this point but i just had high expectations for the ColourPop and the e.l.f. concealer and they just didn't meet my expectations at all. The e.l.f. concealer doesn't play well with other products. Like I said, I've tried the ColourPop and the e.l.f. concealer on a variety of makeup products, different primers, different um, foundations, different BB creams, CC creams, and I find that the e.l.f. one doesn't play well with my um it cosmetics cc cream so it just starts breaking apart from the beginning i just didn't like how it looked when i had that foundation on it's probably better to use these two conceal concealers with just maybe your moisturizer underneath or a very hydrating primer but not to have too many products. They just didn't want to play with anyone on the playground, if you know what I mean. If I had to choose between the two, I would go with ColourPop. It agrees more with all the different products and makeup items that I have and put on my face. And I feel like this is just a tad creamier than the e.l.f., which makes it more 
appealing under the eyes. And at the same time, ColourPop concealer lasts longer on my skin. So it looks better, it lasts longer. So between the two, ColourPop is the winner for me. Um, it is a little bit more expensive, but that's not really a deal breaker because they are both affordable brands. I don't know what they put on the e.l.f. concealer, but it's like paint for your face. It just kind of sticks on and cements onto your face, but it's really just sitting on top of your face. And so it wasn't doing a good job at becoming one with the skin. It just created that thick, rough layer on top of the skin and it just breaks apart when your face makes certain expressions. So it just emphasized my fine lines. You want a concealer that is, I don't know how to explain it, but bendable, you know? It moves and takes on the shape of, ooh, what is that? It moves and takes on the shape of your face. The ColourPop did a better job, but I still wasn't 100% wowed by ColourPop. ColourPop is a good brand. They have a lot of good products. Um, but they didn't impress me that much when it comes to their concealer. Um, but if I had to choose between the two, it would have to be ColourPop for so sure. That is my review, guys. Hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. I post videos once a week. Comment down below what other types of videos you'd like me to do or what other products you'd like me to test or maybe you can't decide on two products and you wanna know which one is the better product to use and kind of like a makeup dual series. Let me know in the comments below um, what other products you'd like me to put up again. That is it for this video and I hope to see you guys back in my corner soon. Bye.